Tom Daves with eXp Realty. And as we head down the last quarter of the year, we traditionally see a slowdown. But right now, the market still seems to be plugging right away. So let's dig into the numbers and see what's really happening right now in the market. The recent data from September stayed on track from the previous months, despite all of the new media headlines that tend to terrify rather than clarify. These are the numbers for Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. And on this first chart, it shows us the inventory. And as you can see in the light green, we saw a fractional decline in homes for sale from 3745 in August down to 3696 homes for sale in September. This likely relates to homeowners wanting to wait to see where the market is going and it's also seasonal. And in the dark green, we see the sold properties. We saw a slight decline from August 1828 to 1633 in September. And then in red is the pending sales, in which we saw a 20% decrease from August 1898 pending homes to 1504 in September, which again is a seasonal trend. This next chart shows price per square foot, which we continue to see a small drop. This is to be expected as the values have been decelerating the past few months. And on this next graph, we have the list to sold ratio, which continued its slight decline from 96% in August to 95% in September, meaning that the homes on average are selling at 95% of what they have been listed for. And down below in the orange, we see the average days on the market, which has increased by another six days in August to September, taking homes on average to only still sell in 35 days. And on this last chart, we see the month's worth of inventory. This chart shows how long it will take to sell the existing inventory, which has increased from August two months to 2.3 months in September. This is related to the decrease in the homes on the market. In looking at this chart, you might think that the market has already shifted, but remember, zero to three months of inventory is a seller's market, four to five is a neutral, and then anything over five is a buyer's market. So you can definitely see that we're in a strong seller's market. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, don't let the fearful headlines scare you. You still have a lot of options available. Sellers are willing to negotiate with you and you don't have to feel rushed when shopping for a home. Even though we saw a slight decline in the homes for sale coming onto the market, there's still a lot of homes for sale and people are buying and people are selling. And what I go to is the five D's in life. There's changing events that drive homeowners to sell to still sell their homes. There's the five D's, the death, divorce, diplomas, diapers, and the daily grind. And what does this mean if you're a seller? Yes, prices are decelerating slightly, but they're not depreciating. We are seeing home values correct from the unsustainable market that we've experienced in the last couple of years. We are still seeing homes sell at or above list price if they are priced right. And we're seeing a surplus of cash Bay Area buyers that are looking to relocate to the greater Sacramento area. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. Thanks. Have a great day.